In this video, we're going to start the graphing lines worksheet under this CUDA software Infinite Algebra 1 tab, and I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below of how to access that worksheet. Our directions are to sketch the graph of each line. Each of these equations is in the form of y equals mx plus b, where b is the y-intercept, so that's where the line crosses or intersects the y-axis, and m is the slope of the line. Looking at number one, we have y equals 7 halves x minus 2. There are a couple different methods for graphing a line, so I'm going to start by showing you how to utilize that y equals mx plus b equation. As I mentioned, m is the slope, so m is equal to 7 over 2. Slope you can also think of as the rise over the run. And the y-intercept is that b, but since this 2 is subtracted, that b is really a negative 2. So now when we go to graph this, the y-intercept occurs at negative 2. So when x is 0, that intercept is at negative 2. So we can go ahead and plot that point. And then using our slope or our rise over run, we'll be able to get to the next point. So rise over run, we're going to go up 7, since that's a positive 7. And then we're going to go over to the right 2, since that's a positive 2. So starting at our y-intercept, we'll go up 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then we'll go over to the right 2. 1, 2. And that's where we'll plot our next point. And all you need are two points to make a line. So then we'll just connect those. I'll try my best to freehand a straight line, but I recommend grabbing a ruler so that you have a straight edge to run your pencil along in order to connect those two points. Let's go on to number two. And number two, I'll show you another method for graphing equations. You can graph simply by creating a t-table. So in a t-table, you're going to list a couple different x values and solve for y. But remember, you only need two points to create that line. So let's do 0 and 1. Now we're going to plug in 0 for x and solve for y. And then we're going to plug in 1 for x and solve for y and plot each of those points. So plugging 0 in for x, we'll get negative 6 times 0 which is 0 plus 3. So y will equal 0 plus 3. So y will equal 3. So our first point is 0, 3. So let's go ahead and graph that. 0, 3. Notice this is also the y-intercept. So we could have solved for that without writing out the math because we know that the y-intercept is when x is 0. And that occurs when y is 3. Now let's plug in 1 for x. When we plug in 1 for x, we get that y equals negative 6 times 1, which is negative 6. And then add the 3. So that's going to be y equals negative 6 plus 3 is a negative 3. So when x is equal to 1, y equals negative 3. So let's go ahead and graph the point 1, comma, negative 3. 1, negative 3. And then go ahead and connect those points with the line. And on to number 3. Number 3 says y equals negative 5. So this is going to be a horizontal line since the slope is 0. So go ahead, find where y equals negative 5 and just draw a straight line across. For number 4, we have y equals 6 fifths x plus 1. So our slope m is equal to 6 over 5, and our y-intercept b is equal to 1. So when x is 0, our y is equal to 1, which is our y-intercept, represented by b. And then we can go up 6, and over 5, 
but that'll actually put us off the graph. So let's go ahead and go down 6 and 5 to the left, since negative over negative is still positive. So we're going to go down 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then over 5 to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we'll be at this point. And then just draw a straight line and connect. And if you wanted to double check that, we landed at the point negative 5, negative 5. So entering that in, y equals 6 fifths x plus 1. So we're going to put negative 5 in for x and see if that's equal to negative 5. So this y needs to be equal to that negative 5. 6 fifths times negative 5 is going to leave us with a negative 6. And then we just have to add 1, and that indeed equals negative 5. So our coordinate checks out. And number 5, our slope m is 1 fourth, or 1 over 4, and our b is a positive 2. So at 0, our y value is equal to 2, since that's the y-intercept b. And then we're going to go up 1 and over 4, which will be at the point 4, positive 3. Go ahead and draw a line and connect. And that's the graph for number 5. Go ahead and feel free to double check and enter in that coordinate 4, 3. Go ahead and enter in 4 for x and see if you get 3 for your y value. If so, we knew that we drew our line correctly. Let's go ahead and finish up the first page of this worksheet in this video, and in the next video, I'll do the second page. But before I finish the last problem in this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and comment if you have any questions below. For number six, we have x is equal to a positive five. So that means for any value, that we plug in for y, x is always going to be 5. So if y was 1, x would be 5. If y was 0, 5, and so on. So number 6 doesn't have a y-intercept since it's just a vertical line following that x equals 5.